the Red Chamber was urged to immortalize the late Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahim, who died in a plane crash. The Red Chamber also observed a one-minute silence in honor of all the diseased. National Assembly correspondent Mariam Zakari has the details. The Senate condemned Nigeria's failing security and called on security agencies to investigate and bring to book all those who plotted and carried out Gulak's murder. The Deputy Senate President Ovie Omar Gege had earlier brought the attention of the Senate, noting Gulak was murdered while on national assignments in Oweri, the Imo state capital. He called on the Senate to do everything within its power to prevail on the police and other security agencies to unearth the killers. Senate President Ahmed Lawan said Gulak was a very committed, dedicated citizen of this country who made tremendous contributions at both the state level in Adama and the national level. The late Honorable Ahmed Gulak was uh, a very straightforward, very committed, dedicated uh, citizen of this country, very distinguished politician who made uh, tremendous contributions at both the state level in Adamawa State and the national level. The murder of this great son of Nigeria is something that our security agencies must unravel the, the, the murderers and, in fact, the people behind the murder itself. This is necessary in all the cases, in all the murders and assassinations that uh, take place in our country uh, in almost uh, on a daily basis. Our security agencies, particularly our uh, intelligence uh, agencies, must continue to fish out such uh, issues even before they happen. Still at plenary, the Chairman Committee on Army, Senator Alin Dume, called on the Senate to immortalize the late Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, and 10 other officers who were killed in a plane crash in Kaduna by naming a monument after the late Chief of Army Staff. To urge the federal government or the Army to immortalize the Chief of Army, the late Chief of Army Staff, by naming a military structure in his honor so that as an appreciative nation, we will live to remember them. And also to delegate a team from the Senate on behalf on behalf of the Senate to condole and commiserate with <coughs> the, and condole the families of the deceased. The Senate observed one minute silence in honor of the deceased. Meanwhile, the upper legislative chamber considered the request of President Muhammadu Buhari for external borrowing of the sum of 2.343 trillion naira in the 2021 Appropriation Act and committed it to its Committee on Local and Foreign Debts for further legislative action. The committee is to report back within two weeks. From the National Assembly, Mariam Zakari, Liberty News.